hello do you face any problems and then you go to google and search and the first answer you get is from stack overflow and mostly you will see people are just in the consuming mode that we consume a lot of data from stack overflow we get answers uh, some people post questions and most of the questions which we think of are already there but have you contributed back to stack overflow so in this video we'll see that how i have contributed back to stack overflow and how you can do the same and it will have the benefits so let's begin My name is Gaurav and if you are coming for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So if you see that I have just uh, simply pasted that uh, REST 404 error. So the results that you are getting on the search engine is first coming from the Stack Overflow, right? We go to that and we explore that uh, if it, it is suitable to us or if it is having the problems that we are facing and how we can solve it. So similarly, another problem that I have uh, pasted is for Selenium element not interactable. So again, I'm getting the first link is from Stack Overflow. We go there and we consume information and sometimes, uh, most of the times it fixes the uh, problem that we have and we close that site and get back to our work but how can we contribute back right so when you contribute back you will get some feedback also on that contribution that you make so that helps you a lot so how to get uh, started let's see that uh, firstly i'll show my contribution it's not that you have to be a hardcore coder to contribute back right sometimes people have a fear so get that uh, fear out of you so let me show you. So this is my profile. And if you see the reputation is 3355. I'm not saying it's too much, but yeah, it's uh, good there. Yeah. People have even in 10,000, 20,000, right? Who are contributing daily doing things. So if you see that uh, I have a reach of 2.3 million and top 7%, but uh, let's see that how you can contribute. So Stack Overflow is also a, a combination of various sites. So all these um, accounts are linked. Right, so I can show you that uh, where are the things that I have contributed and where you can also contribute it. So here, if you see that, um, these are some questions that this includes everything. And these are some questions um, that I posted at various times. And sometimes I have posted some answers as well. Right, and let me, I have opened some questions. So let me show you step by step. Right, so sometimes you get an answer, but you find it hard that option, right? Like how to reach that option. So in those cases, you can just click on this edit button, right? And you can uh, add an image to that answer and it will ask you why you are doing that edit. And because that can be helpful, right? Images are always uh, better than just having the text because I might be new to a tool for, an, for a person he may simply say, okay, start like this. They might tell about this start and taskbar or time, but sometimes things are not that obvious because that software is not very common. So you can add screenshots to an answer, right? So you will see this in many of my answer, for example, this one. So here I have only posted the question, like I was struggling a lot. Like uh, I think I, uh, that time I started using IntelliJ and uh, I loaded one project. I was new in a project and I was getting the same error and sometimes these errors are like people will give you answers, just uh, restart your system and it will solve, right? Then I posted this and even I posted the code also there, right? And then somebody started uh, discussing with me that what could be the problem where I am wrong. So then with the help of that person, I even posted the answer because sometimes your situation is unique, right? Nobody has faced it. Uh, because of certain environment and all those kind of issues. So here it was like a very simple thing that I was not able to load a simple project on IntelliJ and same and same problem was coming. And then I was able to solve. So I posted the answer as well. So this was one of the biggest problem where I was like, I started a APM tutorial and uh, like the first thing is you want that device, a virtual device, right? And it was not getting started, but the person who was teaching for them, it was okay. And I was finding it really hard. Then I go, gone through all the answers that were there on the Stack Overflow. So if you see, I have referred that answer. So there are some guidelines, like initially in the Stack Overflow, right? Uh, don't get disheartened if you are getting, uh, like your, your question is not properly posted, right? Uh, so. The idea is that if you are writing any code, 
you can write uh, i can show you that in the end that how you can uh, write all these things right uh, it's simple so yeah but people will give edits also right they will edit and some people will correct if you are new right and sometimes uh, your question can be a duplicate then it might be deleted as well but don't get disheartened it's fine right because it's a very good platform stack overflow and they have high standards so if you see in this question like uh, setting this uh, software and then setting this value made it possible for me to launch this it was not launching at all right so this kind of thing see it was just a software installation right and it was not started so i have answered uh, things like that so this answer if you go it has got 67 like uh, i think in my previous company i was working on soap and it was totally new and i i asked very basic question like i saw that uh, i was trying to understand how global variables are defined in uh, in groovy scripting so there and if you see it's a very simple line of code but yeah because i might have explained in a simpler way if you see it has got 67 upwards right because it was, I think there are very uh, less material compared to other languages on Groovy and it was hard. So firstly, I asked, I think even I tried to search it and then I posted my answer on that. So one thing you can do is like uh, whichever thing you are doing, let's say you are doing something starting new, then follow those tags. Then what will happen is that if you follow those tags, you will start get getting questions on your email then you can go there and answer it, right? Let's say, because I have followed SOAP UI, then they will keep on sending you some questions. If you subscribe to some tags, then you can answer those questions. So here, see, it's a very common problem, right? People sometimes they find it very hard to uh, set the environment variables, and this is required for most of the softwares. Some of the software uh, do themselves, right, while installation, but sometimes you have to explicitly do it. And there is one important thing that you have to close the command prompt, right, and restart it, right? It's uh, sometimes people forget it, they set it, and they try that command here, and they don't get it, right? So. It's very simple things that you can post and help people because these are some common mistakes which everybody does and they get the answer also, but they don't take those five and 10 minutes to contribute back, uh, which can help the community in a better way. Like then you will get some comments also, right? That uh, maybe people will tell you, right? I was trying to hide my username somewhere then somebody told that they can read it out, right? So it was a feedback that, right? If I'm doing some scribbing and all it, I should do it. Uh, properly this might get edited by someone if you see here like maybe in the starting i don't know that how to have the have to put it in the coding right it's coming as a code in the right way and so some people will edit you if you see this person has twenty two thousand ranking all because they contribute more the more you contribute the more reputation would be and if you see that that uh, based on your answers or your activity, you keep on getting like if someone will upvote my answer, like if they click on this button, then I'll get some uh, that reputation. This keeps on increasing uh, based on the answers uh, that you give or the comments. Right? Sometimes comments are also very very useful. So if you see that's with one of the recent Selenium version, this problem was. Uh, I think for this also, I have to I have to open 32 links. I remember still so many links I opened and I was trying to find that. And even I think when the, the new driver came, this was even new on stack uh, overflow also, it was not there. So I searched a lot, then I found that solution and in Telegram also in various testing communities, people were asking. So I have pasted here so that it's being useful for everyone. So it's a nice place where you can contribute and people can find answers. So as a tester, we do a lot of documentation, right? So we are good at uh, defining things. And also here, if you see that, that see if you see very complex way, it was in SOAP. So I remember I have put each and every step and mark something so that uh, uh, it becomes easier for someone. I think it is for Fiddler, right? Uh, that I have put screenshot by screenshots and how we can do it in the right way. And this is my recent contribution that somebody asked me that how we can see in Azure DevOps pipeline. So I have done it once in somewhere, right? So I have pasted that code over here. So don't paste any office related or work related things. It should be very generic in nature, right? There is no customer or any names 
like that right so and now i'll show you that uh, what are the now i'll show you that what are the various contributions that i have made in various ways yeah so if you come to this activity over there you can see that what all things have been there for example what are the responses right what are the revisions like somebody might have changed the formatting of my question and uh, what are my what are the comments that uh, i have gave right so you can thank people for because they have saved a lot of time by posting over there right sometimes people have the cross questioning when you ask question right and they save a lot of time right so these are the comments that uh, people might have given and here you will get various badges you need not to do anything right you just have to be active and these keep on coming and sometimes you have to participate in surveys and the more reputation you have sometimes they ask you to participate in some surveys and all right and uh, bounties are like uh, sometimes uh, people want to get urgent answers so they put some bounty on their question that if you answer that i think you will have a more reputation uh, over there in those cases right and even you come to know that where people are for example this kafka is very was very new to me when i was working in uh, one of the project right so then like i was struggling to see the data in the see it's a new tool and sometimes people don't know as i said earlier also so here i have mentioned specific because kafka is not that somebody is using every day or some tools are so there was a specific way and if you see this update button was at the very corner so if you use this software people might not notice it and by just changing they close this tab and what happens things will not work and you will be confused for Uh, long that where is so this update button was very important so that's why let's see if you see i have added a note also that do not miss to press that update button right as it's not visible so this way you can uh, start contributing so these are some tags that you can follow right i follow postman selenium android studio and various other thing what you are doing i was working on cucumber serenity so i did that uh, so that was really helpful so under all actions you will see uh, the various things that okay you can revise some things right you can add screenshots as i told you can add comments you can thank people right it's not that just for reputation you should do all that right it will help you as you will get feedbacks and you, your answers might get accepted or rejected and uh, let me tell you there is another one for the testing also right you can uh, just search for sqa.stackexchange where you will find mostly testing related questions right if you see i just type test plan to check it out so you are getting all the things which are related to test plan so you can even contribute here if you are don't want to to add the uh, stack overflow site it's just a, i think sister site but i have less contribution over here i'll start contributing more over here as well because it does not uh, come in the google search results i think that could be one of the reason and uh, yeah if you see here somebody has asked that how to get started on uh, this stack overflow right so just follow the tags and where you are strong like some areas you would be strong and you can comment you can edit uh, the screenshot and then uh, some day you can even ask a question and how to ask a question is click on this ask question thing you can maybe write right they will tell you summarize the problem provide the details if you want to add a code you can just use this button right and you will see the uh, let me say that how to get the report in cucumber as json right so it will show you some answers that like uh, that you can use when you are posting your question so that it does not create a duplicate and then here you can give the details of your question so if you have a code uh let's say i'm just pasting an html code so you can see that how it will appear uh below so if you give four spaces it's equivalent to this so it's coming like this below code is not printing anything right right that's just an example and here you can add tags that it's related to what's let's say it is related to cucumber so then you can uh, search for uh, cucumber over here discussion yeah 
So you can do things like that so that you can just verify here that spelling mistakes, everything is fine. Then you can review your question and you will post. And initially when your reputation would be less like one or hundred or something, right? Then uh, it will be reviewed by people and all. So all these formatting options are available over here. You can create tables, you can have HTML. So all this explanation over the years have become better here. So start contributing, you will be so start contributing, you will have a lot of learning uh, like I have. And if you're a tester, start contributing here, sqa.stackexchange and otherwise also that whenever you take some information and if you find something that was not already there, try to contribute back. So thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel.